All right, here we go. Time for the daily debate. James, if you're sitting, you're joining. Ready? All right, my man, put that headset on. Today's hashtag daily debate question at MMA Junkie Radio Show. If Anthony Smith upsets John Jones at hashtag UFC 235, how would you compare it to Matt Serra's upset of George St. Pierre at UFC 69? Bigger, on par, or not as big? Start off, Dan. As tough. I came in right at my peak fandom around this time and UFC 69 shootout, if I want to say. I mean, that almost burns in my head. You don't think of it as UFC 69 or UFC 69 shootout. You think of that as the event where Matt Sarah upset George St. Pierre, and we reference it all the time. It's hard to imagine that beating it, but it is John Jones we're talking about, and even as staunch as critics, even with the uh, positive test, if you will, and, and, and again, you, you could be on, on, on the complete you know, opposite end of John Jones in that way. you got to give the guy credit. He's one of the best fighters we've ever seen in that cage, and I think a lot of people would be blown away. As blown away, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll say no. I, I, you know, I'll, I'll vote no. Not, not as big. big. Not as big. Not as big. Goes. You know, I remember that night, and I remember... There was a pride going on in Japan, and I had to break the news to a lot of fighters that that had happened, and none of them believed me. That's how big that was. Like, they actually hung up the phone going, you're lying. We'll just wait and see tomorrow. So that's pretty big. However, I think this is going to be even bigger. Because here's the thing. Up until that point, St. Pierre had lost, okay? To Matt Mm Hughes, John Jones has a loss on his record, but... So to me, this would be way bigger. This is a guy that has almost no holes in his game, Mm. all right? At the time, you could maybe say St. Pierre was good, but he hadn't reached great yet. But his opponent beat Rashad, Shogun, and Volcan, right? Ozdemir. Yeah. Whereas GSP, or sorry, Matt Serra had gone through a a comeback season, respect to those veterans, but not ranked fighters. So, Mm -hmm. and the odds seem to be even, you know, so... So you want to stop this while you go make that bet? On, uh, <laughs> I'm, not bet. I'm not betting on him. Man. I, uh, I'm going to just enjoy the fight. You know what? I'll put something small uh, with him as part of a parlay if they let me do it. Just because I can't walk in and go, here's 1400 to win 100 on John Jones. Anything can happen in, 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 in uh, MMA. The day I do it is the day I'll get stung for 1400 bucks. So uh, if anything, I'll put like 10 bucks on Anthony Smith or something with another. Uh, it's like a lotto ticket. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because Anthony Smith can hit. He hurt a lot of those guys they just mentioned. But uh, I don't know. It, well, go ahead. Finish finish well, up. Well, was, the last thing I was going to say is when that happened, there were still people finding out about that the next day, you know, from, from casual fans, whatever. If this upset happens on Saturday night with ESPN behind it, with as big as the sport is now, there's not a person walking this earth that's not going to find out about that within hours. Mm-hmm. It's going to be huge. All right, James. As a Canadian, I got to say the, the Sarah upset would be bigger, and I'm going to base it off this. You know, as a Canadian, uh, George St. Pierre doesn't just represent uh, you know himself, but he represents an entire country. So him losing, there's all this hope. You know, he's the next big Canadian superstar, everything like that. He looked unstoppable, and we have to look at how Sarah got that title shot. It was on the Ultimate Fighter. He beat Chris Lytle. I think if you you could argue that Anthony Smith is, has a bit of a tougher challenge to get to the title, just beating Volkan Ozdemir. You know, Chris Lytle. I mean, I love the guy. That was a close fight, but Sarah got in there, and I think a lot of people felt like he shouldn't have been and he goes out there and not just defeats St. Pierre but he finishes him in the first round I think that's so hard to replicate and the other thing we got to add in is all the stuff that's going on outside the cage with John Jones that he's had to deal with you know at some point something's going to happen and it, he's going to falter whereas with St. Pierre he looked unstoppable I mean people were just talking about his retirement recently you look at that second fight with Matt Hughes where he won the title he dominated that fight I don't think anyone thought he was going to lose anytime soon all right I'll just say that if Anthony Smith does one of these like just I mean a big old right hand or a left hook, just something out of nowhere, then I'd say it's going to be on par. But if he dominates John Jones for five rounds, then I'd say it's bigger. But I, I just, I'm just i going to go with on par. I see some similarities. And, I mean, it's not, you know, with a fine-tooth comb, obviously we can find a lot of differences, like I mentioned earlier. But I think it's on par as, as far as the odds are concerned and as far as just two guys that aren't really given much of a shot by the media against two right. icons of the sport. So, uh, yeah, I go with on par. I'm just going to real quick change mine to on par, too, because this is the great thing about this segment. I just got swayed by Goes to go one way, <laughs> then I got swayed back down to earth by James. I fell back in the middle, so I'm going to change to on par there as go. well. There Can we I go. Can I try and sway you one last time? All right. <laughs> when have we seen John Jones even hurt? When? Alex, Alex, Alex Gustafson. I was, I was yeah. front row for that yeah. fight. Yeah. He was that close, man. DC was up on a, a couple rounds on him, wasn't he? Hurt, though? Yeah, I remember when I was in Anaheim. I remember, I remember one of those where the crowd, like you know, starts to look and see that 
maybe DC had landed something yeah. and had hurt. Remember when Condit landed that kick on GSP right. and, and it just kind of like took away from that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We've got. I love GSP. I don't know. We haven't seen hey, that from hey, John. Jones. You know what? You, George St. Pierre only had what an armbar loss before the uh, St. Pierre upset. Heck, Vitor Belfort. Maybe if he had a couple more help inside of a uh, better position, I should say, he could have gotten that armbar. You know, uh, it was really, really close to that. So I mean, it could have been in the same situation there too. All right. Well, there's been there's our, our, our feedback there on the question. Here's how Junkie Nation broke it down. Over 1,100 votes came in. 60% said it'd be bigger. Okay, wow. Second place wow. is All 27% right. on par. But 13% said not as big. So I thought that was right. pretty spread out there, but uh, bigger seemed to be. You the, won the popular vote, Ghost. The more popular yep. response. Yeah, respect. All right, there you have it. That's today's <laughs> daily debate.